Hello everybody, Mr. Unnamed here and Space Engineers once again. And today I've got a neat little thing to show you with the recent update, and it is the jump drives that they just added into the game. As soon as my game is done, like okay, there we go. Now this is a fantastic and welcome addition to the game, and I for one am going to enjoy it. here and I'll go ahead and show you where I put them in what state they're in and interestingly enough you can use your jump drive to transport small ships like this or even larger ships in a much larger carrier all they have to do is be locked up to one of these connectors here, or locked down with landing pads. Any players, objects, or ships that are not locked down will not make the jump. They will be apparently either ejected from the ship or be destroyed in the process. I'm not entirely sure. So here we have our two jump drives, absolutely massive, I cannot get over this, but they look absolutely beautiful. I have my graphic settings turned way down, which is somewhat unfortunate because the detail for these things is somewhat lost in that, but I have an older computer, so there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. Now these can be stacked in some huge, like, bank, like something out of Star Trek, or what I have here, just two placed in an area where they'll fit. Which, I didn't actually make this space like this, it just happened to fit absolutely perfectly. So a happy little coincidence, and I love that. Yeah. Massive, massive bits of machinery. So, let's head up to the bridge. No, not this bridge. We're not under attack, so there's no point in me being in there or showing you around. this bridge. Now what we've got to do first of all, select our jump drives. Or no, that's not the first thing we got to do, I'm sorry. The first thing we got to do is select the main cockpit. Because the jump drives operate off of which cockpit is the main cockpit or not. Set myself up in a direction. And. Hmm. Cockpit isn't wanting to work properly. Oh well. Set myself up in a direction. I think that asteroid right there will do quite nicely. Now. We have to set up our little thingy thing here. Select a jump drive. Hit jump. Make sure that at least one of them is fully charged. We've got less than a minute left. So, where is the distance I want to jump? Well, I just want to make a jump for five kilometers. That seems like a fairly good distance to test this thing out and uh, get a gauge about, you know, how far we can fling this massive ship. As you can see, it's over 17 million kilograms. It is armed absolutely to the teeth. 
but it is only, of course, a destroyer-sized vessel. At least, in my reasoning. Okay, we got about 40 seconds before this thing is ready to go. Just gonna drop out of here. Run around and make sure that there is absolutely nothing left just lying around or out of place during the construction of this ship. Doesn't seem to be a problem. Everything seems to be piped up just fine. crew lying about. Okay, so, nothing is out of place, nothing is loose. Everything seems to be tightly locked down and ready for action. Let me double check that fighter to make sure that it is indeed locked down in place, and it is. Excellent. Okay. So that's the final check. Preparations are ready. The jump drives are showing as blue, which is how you know they are fully charged and ready to go. Last check to make sure that the jump drives are properly set. And with these, I can go up to 280 kilometers away. With more jump drives, you can jump much further. But for right now, all I want is 5 kilometers, which should put me towards that asteroid right there. So, let's go ahead and make a blind jump in that direction. Here we go. Five, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, jumping. We didn't quite make it to that asteroid, but that is still one hell of a jump. We've made it a little over halfway there. And as we slowly, ever so slowly, turn ourselves around, wait for the world to save. We can see our base way back there, five kilometers away. That is incredible. So. Let's go down, check and see if our fighter is still locked into place. Because that was one of the things that the game dubiously promised, that anything that was either connected up or set down with landing gears would still be there when you made your jump. Moment of truth, and voila, it's true! The small fighter I had is still here. That means you can make very, very large carriers and not, you no longer have to worry about being way too slow to move or taking days just to move a few kilometers because of all the extra mass and the incredible amount of engines you would have to put on the ship. Not anymore. You can just slap some uh, jump drives in there, set your destination, and you'll be all set. 
Now, with the jump drives, you can set coordinates. I don't have any coordinates saved at the moment, unfortunately. But, you know, it's whatever. Okay, and right here you can see it sets up a screen where you have to confirm. Jump destination, this is a blind jump. We don't have any coordinates set, so that's perfectly fine. Distance to the proximity of coordinate, five kilometers. Now, that's important because apparently if there's anything in your way or blocking you, well, I wouldn't say blocking you. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to test that in a little bit to see if I can turn this into a weapon. But anyway, proximity, it, it's fairly close. Now, the achievable percentage of the jump, 100% 5 kilometers. This is based on the power available to your jump drives and also how many jump drives you actually have in order to cover the distance. Weight of transported mass, almost 18 million kilograms. Operational jump drives, two. Seated crew on board, one of one. So, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves going. Three, two, one. Damn, that is pretty. Okay, so where did that put us? It put us about a thousand meters, one kilometer away from where we want it to be. That's not too terribly bad. Of course, more precise jumps would definitely be capable if you put in certain coordinates and tweaked certain things here and there, but generally, that is a very, very good, successful jump. And I need to throw some more gyroscopes into this thing. 62 gyroscopes is just not covering it. Then again, this isn't exactly a racing ship. It's a escort kind of class ship. giving you a quick pretty view. Alright, now in the meantime, while I'm getting this thing parked up, I'm going to go ahead and get myself set up for the potential weapons test to see if I can weaponize a jump drive. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are, about to test whether or not this jump drive that I've slapped onto one of the older models of the uh, blue ship can be used as kind of a ramming assistance device. As soon as I saw that jump drive was introduced into Space Engineers, I figured there has to be a way to make this into some kind of weapon. Unfortunately, it's set up to where if you jump, you stop about two kilometers away from an object in your path. Uh, but what happens if it's already in your path when you initiate that jump? So, with this test, I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot and see what happens. We're just going to hop into this ship here. As you can see, or maybe not because of the lag. Wow, that's significant. Okay. As you can see... I just slapped one of these massive jump drive uh, engines onto the blue ship here. And these things are huge, absolutely massive pieces of equipment. They look absolutely fantastic, though. very futuristic, very clean, smooth. I just love the design of these things. So with that said, let's quit the lane, get in, and uh, see if we can blind jump straight through that ship. Oh, yep, we forgot that was pressurized. Doesn't matter. If all goes well, this ship should be completely destroyed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so. Got myself lined up about as good as it's gonna get. Check and make sure that I have everything set up properly. Of 
five kilometer jump distance, that should be perfect. And there we go, okay. Here goes nothing in three, two, one. Okay. Let's hope for some carnage. Two, one, and three. What? Huh. I am five kilometers away. My ship seems to be intact. Everything seems to be okay back there. Huh. Okay. Let's try jumping back. Six, five, four, three, two, one, jumping. And I stopped a thousand meters short. Okay. So that's interesting. Even though I was directly behind that large ship, nothing happened. I don't see any major carnage down there or anything. I was not expecting that result exactly. Everything seems to be just fine. So I suppose there really is no way to turn the jump drive into a weapon. A bit disappointing, but still fairly reassuring. Because nobody can actually turn that against me, and that's what really matters. <laughs> 